All right, y'all. Let's get into another game of life. Life. Jasmine wants the fairy tale land this time. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Yeah, that's fine with me. I mean, I'm just, I'm so close to getting some stuff. I just need to get, what was it? Nine more hearts? No, not nine hearts. Let's see. All right, one house. Oh, easy. Oh yeah, nine hearts. Nine hearts is going to be a bit of a stretch, but, but you, can, you can work towards it. Get the one house. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Fairy tale kingdom. Y'all ready for a code? Let's do mm -hmm. it. Eighty six hundred. Where's yellow? Oh, sorry, I'm on it. Where My poor you? bug turned into a couch last night. It's the time. worst. Don't do oh, it. No, Don't maybe I want do it. it. Different. The bug is so cute. There we go. Oh, I want this one. Heck yeah. Um, I'm ready. Like that. Ready. And mm. what character? Anna, you look like a Viking ready to sail to Valhalla. I am. I'm ready to sail over to your house. <laughs> Come sail away, sail away. Oh my gosh. Pure moods from the 90s. <laughs> oh my God. I was watching TikTok and do you remember that weird blocks that glow in the dark? Maybe? There's there like, like Lego like a, blocks? They're like a Lego blocks, but there was a commercial and they sort of like, you can bend them. So people <coughs> were wearing them as like armor. They made a boat. Yeah. Oh, no, I do remember yes, this. Yes, 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 yes. Yep, and I was I watching this, this commercial. I was like, oh my God, this they're is like round. a memory yeah. unlocked. Yeah. On the edges. Yeah. And I, I sent like, it to Steph and she's just like, where did you get this? <laughs> well, it's like everyone from our generation has seen that commercial. I didn't know a no single one got soul. No, we, no we one got wanted it. So I never owned it, but I don't know how or where but i was in a house watching swan princess playing with those mm. for I'm like jealous. two hours and then we went home you should be you jealous. turn the lights off were no they, were they glow no i couldn't turn off the lights but like I, the one thing i remember is the blocks were okay is and, that um, an unlockable mount price is that something special i don't have? know but i was like i'm the haunted horseman right now let's go that's really That's cute. Cool. Scary. Uh, I just remember it being okay, and uh, the basement that we were in smelled like mothballs and cigarettes. Hmm. Ew, gross. Right. My um, my cousins had a light bright, which I remember the light bright. Yes, I love light, love light, yeah. light bright. I had and, a light bright too. And every time I'd go over there, I was like, I want to play with that light bright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had like patterns you could put in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I remember that because like we couldn't we didn't couldn't afford a new one, so we found like a light bright at like a Goodwill or something. Mm -hmm. And most of the like because it comes with this black paper, so you can put the little right, pegs in them. them through, yeah. But m almost all of them were used, so we just made our own. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, no cart race. All right. Nah, let me get that crown. Don't someone upgrade. wants someone wants money. Don't upgrade that. That sweet little that bug. Look, yours. look, last time, last time I had an accidental pet. Oof, accidental pet. It accidental was almost pet. an accidental baby, but you mm -hmm. know, you avoided that. Mm -hmm. Pets are easier. Maybe after midnight, it just turns back into a bug. Ooh, and I like yours. Oh, Ooh. thank you. My pink oh. boat. Yeah, it looks almost it's like a It's my leaf. stumped yacht. Yeah. Since Ash won't buy me one, I'll have to buy it for myself. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, this Listen, is, I guess, In case fine. you didn't hear Biden, we're coming for the yachts, Anna, okay? <laughs> Wait, what, what happened? That's Biden, awesome. Biden, Biden's going after oligarchs' yachts. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. It's good. It's a good thing. Um, and you're definitely not Oh, I need those takeouts. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm now very hungry. I would love some takeout right about now. I may have destroyed a bag of Cheetos while we were playing with them. Oh, <laughs> you, you, where are my Cheetos? No, they're gone now. Oh. Anna, they definitely were yours. Monies. They were definitely my Cheetos that <laughs> their jazz has now destroyed. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? I just remembered I have more of those chocolate eggs. Oh, yes. <laughs> I finished all my chocolate eggs last uh, night, Price. Dude, Anna, 
Yeah. Thank you so much for him. Like on the day, <laughs> the first day you gave him to me, I ate half the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I could not stop. I had them sitting in front of me while we were like watching something, and I just one more, one uh -huh. more. One, Chrissy had like three, and I had like half the bag. Oh, they're so good. They're so, they're so good. good. I need to get more. Look at all these druids. I know. Everybody's joining know. the druid gang. I feel like these were the only two options that are available. Yeah. Well, I was a blacksmith. Oh. Mm-hmm. For a second, I thought we were still in space because we've played space the last two times. <laughs> and I was like, why Why are there space druids? But <laughs> sure, why not? Oh, look at that dragon. He's so cute. Oh, fate. Fate. Oh, oh, no! No! <laughs> so, so close. Poor druid. At least like the tax range is lower for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we don't pay druids much. That's why their taxes are so low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, what is it? What, what they, can you do? You can turn into a cat. Great. All right, got they, cats. They get a lot of uh, tax write-offs. Oh my gosh! Um, you're just you're just slowly yeah. one one day at a time. Seven a, years senior. It takes people longer for college. Yeah. So it takes some people longer. I'm yeah. Sorry. I mean, if some you count people grad just school, don't know what their major is going to be, so they bounce around between different ones. If you count right? grad school, I was in college for twelve years. Oh my god. Ain't that oh, something? No. Blowing through this. That's, no. a, that's a third of my life in school. But then, and then another third from high school. So, <laughs> what is life without education? What is life? What is life? <laughs> I had, I had I, never heard John Mulaney's rant about his uh, college tuition until recently, and it's just, it's great, first off, <laughs> but he just goes on for about five minutes straight talking about how he paid $120,000 for an English major, and he's just like <laughs> super duper upset about it. <laughs> well, I mean, he ended up what? being a writer. No, yeah, I mean, clearly I think mm -hmm. that he was being a little silly, but mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, that, I mean, the whole the whole argument was based on the fact that the uh, alumni organization was asking him for more money after that. Oh um, yeah, he was like, Ooh, I already yes. paid you, I already yes. paid you a hundred and twenty thousand yeah. dollars. They, when yeah. I was in grad school, I would get I those did. calls, and I was like, I'm still paying you guys right now. Why are you asking for more money? <laughs> oh. School's ridiculous. You're doing Rickonomics, huh? No, I'm doing. I want the crowns. Guitar lesson. The crowns, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's economics. Go into negative money. Get all well, the debt. It's called the. Uh, yep. It's, it's called Money Ain't Real, is what it is. Mm hmm. Money's not real. It's not um, real. I guess marriage. Married, married. I marry. guess I guess I'll get married. <laughs> Fine. I guess I'll find someone that I'll share the rest of my life with. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Sh uh, sure. Y'all taking <laughs> all my crowns. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Kevin! Is he being a little sweet boy? He's just yelling. Mm. Yeah. Just make sure not to accidentally scream, get out. At him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. He's doing that cute thing where he has his toy in his mouth and he's just screaming mm -hmm. around the house. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's that's adorable. Thing, yeah. yeah. Archer and Lana both do that. It's very cute. Where are my cats? Hippo, Uni, come over here. If I get another one, come I'm to me. Scream. Come to your mama. You're welcome, Ash. Hope you enjoy that. Thank you. I paid your taxes for you. It looked like come you on, didn't you land on yellow, but you still paid me. I did. I did land on yellow. I landed on five, oh, which is your oh, number. No, it looked to me like you landed on six. It totally looked like you landed on the star <gasps> that had the pink star on it, which huh. is super weird. Yeah. Well, on my end, I did not. Oh, I'm a mage. Oh, come on. Yeah, you it didn't still shows six for us? me. Oh, well, it's five for me. That's weird. That's I weird. see five. I see six. Yeah, both me and Chaz are desync somewhere. Weird. So I got an eight there. What did y'all see? I didn't pay attention. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't want to end up in Ash's shoes paying taxes. Please no taxes. Please no taxes. Please no taxes. I'm just holding the space bar. Yeah, that's what I'm Hey! Job. Gonna make more money. Make more money. Nice. It doesn't matter what I roll because I'm gonna get married. Oh, that's actually convenient. Yeah, you yeah. some mm -hmm. money. You needed that to Whee! pay for the wedding. 
That's like, you lucked out and your parents are paying for the wedding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Benny Justin chat says, speaking of writers, what about that new Kickstarter that's going nuts? What so, Kickstarter? Uh, I assume you're talking about Brian Sanderson's new Kickstarter where he's announcing it's like three or four new bu books, and I don't know what the Kickstarter is up to right now, but I know it's going nuts. Sorry, Anna. Um, that's kind of it's ridiculous. <laughs> my thing, <laughs> I mean, my thing about it is just like you know, good for him. He's probably not someone that needs it to be Kickstarter. Exactly. He's probably like well enough off on his own to not mm -hmm. need that. But whatever, uh, you know, good for him. But um, he better finish those books. Is my thing. My, Don't pull a George R. R. Martin. But here's no, no, because no, I've seen so many awesome memes about that exact topic price that he is so. So, so, he writes so much. Yeah. Like, he writes, like, at least a book a year. <laughs> Whereas, like, the, he's going to knock out those four books in, like, in, like, a heartbeat. Whereas George R. George R. R. Martin are, like... 20 million? That's him. ridiculous. That's that is mm -hmm. ridiculous. As a writer, and uh, let's, let's, you know, let's make yeah. that happen, you know? <laughs> it's a lot oh, of... Man. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, lot. Oof. Back into debt. It's fine. It's fine. The books are already done, <laughs> so then why is he why is he kickstarting them then? Kickstarter's supposed to be here's the money to invest in order to get the thing done. Oh, maybe he's self-publishing? He is. He self is, but yeah. still, I don't think that like I'll just put it this way. Good on him for getting that money. Uh, but to me, that is pretty scummy. If you've oh, already written the books mm -hmm. and you're already Brandon Sanderson. You don't need to do that, but you know that twenty million could have been spread amongst a whole bunch of smaller uh, writers that actually mm -hmm. need Kickstarters to get their stuff done. Maybe he's starting his own publishing company that he's going to start helping other people. Well, he better. Oh, but yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I was yeah. like, ah. yeah. that's a that's a big ask for someone yeah. getting twenty million dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he's essentially I... selling his books on Kickstarter, but he's able to know exactly how many he's selling ahead of time, so he can make exactly that much. Mm -hmm. I mean, the reality is, like, I mean, good for him, uh, but like the, <laughs> I, I'm assuming, uh, like he he may have a breakdown of what this money is going for, going towards. But I assume a small percentage of it is going towards actually fulfilling the physical uh, requirements mm -hmm. of the Kickstarter, and the rest is just going to go towards marketing towards actual bookstores of his mm -hmm. new book. So, so he can make more money. Yes. 20 million though is a lot. 20 million is way too much money. That's way too much money. With that kind of marketing, I would not be surprised if in like three or four years we see the fact that there's going to be a TV series on this show. I, mm -hmm. I, could, I wouldn't book. be surprised if he releases these four books and never does anything again. He can, he writes so much though. That's the thing. Like he is the opposite of George R. R. Martin. And 20 I, million. You could stop doing everything in your life for that. Like, I, I need to get into one of his book series just so I have something to read, because, like, I I have attempted to, to read a couple of his things and have not ever gotten into it, really. Like, and, like, I, like I his want ideas. to, because I want to read that much stuff, and I want to not be, like, pigeonholed by authors that just never finish their freaking series. Hmm. I, I mean, I like his ideas. I don't enjoy his writing style. Like, I tried to get into Mistborn, and I think I got halfway through the book where I, was, I just sort of gave up. It, it just didn't click with me. Benny, where'd the rest of that money go? Benny says his old Kickstarter show I'm getting about 15%. But here's the thing, when there's that much money, you can't put it all into the stuff that you say you're going to put it into. You know what I mean? Like 15% he's keeping for himself, I'm assuming another percentage is for fulfilling physical stuff, and then a huge chunk of it, in my mind, must be going towards like marketing the actual book series. Um, I'm torn. I want the Candy House, but the Region Manor is so much better. <laughs> it's so the much better. The Candy House is cute. But can you actually sense. eat the Candy House? Yeah, I gotta be very careful. All I mean, right. to be fair, of that 20 million, what, how much is gonna go to taxes? Eight? Seven? Probably, yeah, like, seven. But still. Like, I just feel like, after a point, you cannot spend that money on the stuff that you said you were going to spend it on. Like, oh, I'm going to hire artists to make awesome covers for all this kind of stuff. There is a limit on how much you can spend on that. Right? There is a limit on how much you would want to spend on marketing for this book. You know, there's going to be diminishing returns after a point, especially because you've already sold it to all of your fans, you know? Yeah. I mean, if, if you have this much money, I assume, like, yeah, you, you spend, like, a million on marketing, and you take the rest, and you're like, hey, let's yeah. make it into a TV show or something. Anna. But why does he need to spend money on a Listen. TV show? 
Wait, I'm also if, getting puzzle pieces. He can be the producer and make even more money. Um, is there a puzzle piece for getting as many loans as you can? I hope I'm there ho is. I hope so. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, watch what it says. Pay the cover artist a million each. There's no way. There's no way. No one would ever pay that no much money. No one would ever do that. Like... You could you know, hope, like, but that would never happen. If it's a... But I'll say, like, if it's a well-known artist, like, max they're going to get is probably, like, 50 grand. Mm -hmm. If it's a lesser-known artist, then probably max they're going to get is, like, 10 grand. 10? And, and I'll put, like, I'll put it this way, Ash. Like, when I'm saying, like, why would he make a TV show, he could get all of that and pay zero dollars by just showing the 20 million to Disney, to HBO, to any of those, because they're like, oh, here's a huge built-in audience, and look at all of this free marketing mm -hmm. from this thing, you know? He could Still just say, hey, we're making a show with HBO, pay zero dollars, and still get his producer credit and everything, and keep the 12 million or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Here, Anna, I'll, I'll help you out. Oh, thank you. I need that, that money. That time it actually went to Anna. Finally. Instead versus, of a loan. When, versus when it went to Ash. Yeah. Oh, a smartphone or TV? I'll get a TV. Anyway, I'm. I'm the only reason I'm frustrated with that is just simply because That's with that of kind of money. money, that money could go to other um, smaller mm -hmm. artists who need it. And I'm like, that's the goal of Kickstarter. And when these huge people come in and do these massive campaigns, it's not the kind of thing that necessarily trickles down to other um, Kickstarters. It, it instead could be pulling from those, you know? The potential audience like, is like, oh, I want this book instead of that fantasy book by someone I don't know. It's it's a weird world, the crowdfunding world, because as someone that works in it, it's like obviously I, I do feel like you, the it's it's weird because the people the the crowdfunding the kickstarters and the the crowd funds that get the most money are the ones that have the biggest names attached to it that don't yeah. need that money and they to don't need with. it, which is so frustrating. But the smaller projects that only need like a hundred grand, mm -hmm. they have a ton of options anyway. They could just go to a video game publisher that would easily pay them that mm -hmm. much. And so why take, why expose yourself to public failure on a Kickstarter if you know you can just get that money elsewhere? Well, um, and I'm not even talking about those people. Like I'm talking about ones who like they want to make a passion project and they can't get it at a game studio. They can't get it funded. Does, I, you know, get a publisher. Like you know? any, my my thing is that any any Kickstarter that has enough displayed on the page to actually get themselves a hundred k, they could get a hundred k from any publisher. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I, you work in it, so I guess I'll trust you on that one. I like I'm I, skeptical I can, about that. I'll, I'll speak to that from a video game perspective. I don't know if it's the same in the book world or the movie world or any of the other Kickstarters that happen out there, but like if you're a no name. This is your first video game project hey. or whatever, and Hell yeah. you need a hundred k, and you have enough quality stuff that you can show on the page um, that would actually get you a hundred k. Then your pitch deck already looks good enough that a publisher would give you a hundred k. But that's really hard. Like that's still a lot of work. Um, I, yeah, I just I still feel like. Those people still deserve it more than an already rich brand. Oh, they Sanderson. do. I'm not. I'm not arguing against that yeah. point. I'm just saying that that's that's yeah. why you see so many. I feel like less quality little indie projects is because mm -hmm. no one wants to take the risk of publicly failing. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, but the other thing is like there's so many like 10k Aww, projects, kitty. 15k projects that it's like literally <laughs> a passion project of like one person. Like, hey, I would like to make this book um, that I've been thinking about my whole life. Uh, I can't do it without getting enough money to pay myself for a month, you know, or two months. Um, those are the projects that I think, like, because Chrissy, for, for my nephew, Chrissy actually kickstarted a few kids' books that had very small margins on them, and luckily they, oh, they got passed. You. But it's like, you know, they, they needed every penny, you know? Yeah. yeah. Those are the projects I'm talking about. I'm talking about the teeny tiny ones. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, I'm just, oh, you know what? We'll take it. Why not? Take the crown. Oh. I'm smarty wow. pants. I'm smarty pants. What? That crown has been passed around. I know it has. <laughs> take it. I farted on it. <laughs> Whoa. I also farted on that before Whoa. it got went to jazz, so guess it's double what? farts. Well, guess what? Your farts smell like roses, so thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> 
That's not true. And it smelled no. terrible. Yeah. I, no, I was going to say femme people don't don't fart. Oh, yeah. Hey! Wow, jackpot. Good job. Let's go. Josh, you didn't Josh. even invite me to your house party and now you're selling it. Rude. I mean, the market was right. Josh is flipping houses. Josh is flipping yeah. them houses. Yeah, one paradox says, book world is weird. You almost always need an agent if you're not self-publishing. I'll just say this. Our friend Chad wrote a book that is in publishing hell. It will never get published uh -huh. because he had an agent who, you know, they wrote a contract, everything like that, and didn't go through. And so he can never release a book that he wrote because of that trash. So yes, you want an agent, but at the same time, your agent can totally screw you. You want a good agent, yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's true of really any world where like you're letting yeah. someone else like negotiate your work. Yeah, um, so that's so why like, you want to self-publish. if you have a lawyer and enough money, you could probably nullify that contract. Mm. That, Contracts that really, are pretty airtight. That's not, no, I mean, I mean, like, you could probably... That's gonna cost. It. Sure, that's gonna cost you Again, another ten grand. Again, I said, <laughs> if you had a lawyer yeah. and the money, yeah. you could probably yeah. appeal it. And if you have enough money, I do think there's a lot to be said about self-publishing when you can. Yeah. You just obviously uh -huh. you need to know that world or what's involved with that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Um. Okay. Low well, and slow. Meow. The barbecue method. Poor Chad. I didn't know that. Ooh. Yeah. It sucks. Mm-hmm. I know he's been trying to do his book thing for a while. Yeah. Can he he's just, like, take the book and change <coughs> the names and change the title and then re-release no. it? No. Ugh. It sucks. It's one of those, you know, it's the entirety of the content in there, so... Well, yeah. hopefully, maybe something happens and someone picks it up. Uh, well, I think what would have to happen is he would have to sell another book and have it be successful, and then... Some other agent would be like, oh, hey, we'll buy something from you. Oh, hey, you have this book. Well, we'll go ahead and, and get it, you know? Well, I was just saying, maybe hopefully one day something just yeah. clicks and it works out. Hopefully. I am paying you so much dang money, and yeah, what are I, you doing? But I paid you back, too, so we're just Not as many times. Money. Not as many times. Slightly less. Price, I want to see the upgrade to your car. I know, right? Anyway. Let's go. Just, you know, that's my, that's my take on it. Yeah, 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 hard. I don't need to. I don't need to keep saying. Uh, I think we're all just sitting here flabbergasted at that. Then you need twenty goddamn million. Yeah, yes. that's a lot. Yeah. That's just a. That's the a frustrating lair. amount of money. Let's there go. you go. Anna, yeah, our vacation home. Finally, she's gonna I'm, sell it before I'm you get there. Yeah, don't you dare! I'm ready to go on vacation. Self-publishing means self-marketing, yeah. though, which is oh, very difficult. Incredibly which is why difficult. I said you only want to, you genuinely, you only want to go down that route if you, for one, have your own money that you're willing to burn. Like, you're going to burn that money. Mm -hmm. um, and then two, genuinely, you do not want to do that if you do not already know exactly how it's done. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're just Googling, like, how would I do this? No. No, mm. you need to, like, have another friend that's already self-published and is willing to teach you everything. Um, mm -hmm. Because that's that's what really you, that's that's the kind of experience that you need. Um, it basically there you go, Jazz. The world Thank of you. books sucks. Or you could write a very niche genre of books that happen to do with cryptids. Well, those yeah, you, those ones you just sell just on Amazon, like, yeah, like wildfire. Yeah. You just include some kind of weird creature or, uh, yeah. you know, something. Has, has Chad thought about romance novels? That's what because... we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> talking about, like, uh, The Bigfoot's Lover. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, That's those what ones, I was talking about, Ash. Those yeah. ones on Amazon, like, you, they just, you can pump out a whole... Uh, I had a friend who wrote those, and he, he was just like, yeah, you know, I had a pen name that sounded femme, and I wrote all of, I, I keep writing these romance books and I'm making a bunch of money on the side. Cause you just, the Amazon ones, you do that and it's just like they filter through. People just buy a whole bunch of those. Mm -hmm. so, so if you want to get into it, then, then that's the way. Listen, it's, some of us need our monster <laughs> smut, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You yeah, hear Brenda is. Sanderson? What are you doing with this yeah. series? Right? Yeah. Clearly choosing the wrong direction. Oh, he would have made 80 million. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, no taxes. 
Um, let's see. I ain't, I ain't getting no piggy crown. No whammies. Stop. All right. Woo. Woo. I'll say this as well. To to not dunk on Brandon Sanderson and like uh, about why he needs this much there money. You um, oh, thank you. Pay you back. I'll I say this: there that. are occasionally these really big projects that, like, you would think anyone would fund because it just is a no-brainer. And so I'm talking specifically about um, Mystery Science Theater 3000 and how mm. they have had to turn to crowdfunding over and over again because, for whatever reason, like publishers just don't see the gold mine that it is. Um, yeah. And they continually just have to ask crowdfunding for it. Uh, yeah, and I mean, part of part of my frustration is that he already wrote the books, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So like, he doesn't need the money to write them. So it's literally just money to pre-order his books, essentially. I don't know. It frustrates me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll just have that money back. We just keep. It's covered in farts. I know back it. Back and forth forever. <laughs> just this, here's fifty. Oh no, here's fifty grand. No, no, you take it. Ooh, I want a better. Yeah. But I yeah, feel like I, mean, I was like, I'm gonna go get a house, and then just walked through all the houses. Was like, no, no houses for me. But yeah, Ash, you're you're right about like the marketing and, and like, all that kind of stuff. It is difficult, but for someone like him, he doesn't need to. He you doesn't know? need to, and it's like it's not to say that like him writing the books is the only expense that there is to it. Like someone like him, that's an internationally best international bestseller. I imagine there is a lot of cost to then localizing that book into like however many different languages it's going to get localized into, and then making proper marketing for each and every country and whatnot. So definitely not twenty million. Worth, but yeah, wouldn't but his publisher do that? <laughs> he he's self pub. That's the whole. No, point. well, right. I'm saying he's self publishing to make more money, but he's had publishers in the past that would do that. So like you're saying, you could sell something to a publisher. He's not doing it because he doesn't have to, but like, I don't know, it's just so he can make more money. Which, I mean, like, I'm not against him no, self-publishing. Uh, fair enough, but I, just, I don't know. I, I just, again, <laughs> it's a lot of money. It's just a lot, it's a lot of, of money. money. But it's, again, 20 million, like, someone in chat, what was his actual goal? Because I'm sure it wasn't 1 million. million. Yeah. yeah. It was one million. Yeah, yeah, but if you're running a Kickstarter, you always want to make smaller goals right. and already have your goals situated. I wonder if it's a situation mm. like, um, was it Psychonauts or what, what was it that was like the fastest yeah. Kickstarter? Yeah, it, it was. Yeah. It, was yeah. it just snowballed so one. quickly. Yeah. Psychonauts and the, the one that Double Fine did before that, what was it? Yeah. The, um, oh, get a roll, press. Oh, uh, sorry. Broken, broken oh, Age. Why is it not going? There we go. I think it might have been Broken Age. That was a good game, by the way. Yeah, it was. It was I liked it. And then since then, there's been others like Shenmue Three, like who did super crazy. Yeah. And um, I remember when MST Three K did theirs. It went. It was very popular at the time too. Ooh, I know. Yes. One. We, we're sharing third. I know. Listen, it's because we go on vacations together. Mm -hmm. All right. But uh, no, I mean. Making money is fine. All right, back around again. Oh yeah, that's true. The Critical Role uh, yeah. Kickstarter was very popular too. For sure. I think it beat the Double Fine one because the Double Fine one like instantly got there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's definitely there. been a few within, that like, have beaten yeah. the Double Fine one, yeah. I just remember that one particularly. Look, Kickstarter is supposed to be for gadgets. Uh, Kickstarter is supposed to be for gadgets that never get released, okay? Mm -hmm. And that don't resemble oh, anything like what they suggested at the beginning. That's a that's a good topic. How many things have people Kickstarted that have never actually released? Right? And oh, do those people so keep many. the money? Like that's so messed up. Oh, those people keep the money. Yeah. That's, oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. How is that legal? It's not. You, well, you well, can. Like, it's a loophole. You can request for like it to be refunded. That's not, yeah, Kickstarter doesn't actually have a guarantee on that, though. It's no, I know, so because it's actually up to the person that ran the Kickstarter to mm -hmm. to be in charge of that, and I feel like if you're already going to be using Kickstarter just to get people's money, you're not going to return it, you know? And Basically, mm -hmm. like, any business can just say, we ran into business trouble with mm -hmm. the design yeah. of this product, yeah. 
and then never actually release it and just say, we don't have any money to refund because we spent it all, which may or may not actually be true. Um, That's ridiculous. I mean, it's just so ridiculous. Seems like more of Kickstarter is trash than is actually good. Mm -hmm. Well, that's definitely true. There's, I mean, that's why I believe it's like most kicks, there's Kickstarter's only has like a 26% success rate. Like most of them don't succeed. Mm -hmm. Ash, first to retire. Wow, you guys are already gone? Jeez Louise. (laughs) Kickstarter is basically giving money away now to possibly get something in the future. It's actually Firefacer, exactly. Look at that banquet. Ooh. I would like to be there. Got to the buffet early. Got that early bird special. Uh, At this age, you hey. gotta. Yeah. I mean, it's Dark. made for you, you know? Mm-hmm. Ash, you're in a pretty good position. Um, we'll see, you got Jazz. a lot of money. Jazz is in a good spot, too, because Jazzy's still got that dragon to sell, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I would minimum, love to house. Minimum 500 on that. Everyone just keeps paying Jazz. Because yeah, I got she that owns, dragon. She, she uh, is true. a landlord who owns all of the homes, and so none of us can buy a mortgage or can afford a mortgage because we all have to pay rent. That's reaching. I only bought two houses. You're the only one who's bought houses. Yeah. It's only two of them. Why are we, why are we giving you money? I don't know. You have all You're the houses. Kind. Wow. I'm not, not over true. here shaking you not down. Not true. I am no. not kind enough to do that. I am not here shaking you down. It seems like you are. Yeah. It seems yeah. like you are, because we keep paying you money and none of us want to. Seems like a shakedown. Just threatened me. It's true. You see, wow. see I, I, I told see, you about it, you and go. you're like, look, look, a refund. Look, don't tell people about this. Sell my house, I please. Mean, sell my you house. Didn't, you, didn't, you, didn't, <gasps> yes. you didn't let me finish. Wow. Just threatened me with a good time. Oh, AKA there you go. Vacation. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> mm, this one. Oh, it was right there. Okay. That's fine. You still made 108K. I yeah, know, but profit. it could have been 100. Could have been 1,000, yeah. Uber I was like, it in chat. felt oh, like it was in the middle. Uber Katarus in chat says, No Man's Sky is a perfect example. They use GoFundMe and lie through their teeth. Good no. game now, but was released bad. And my thing is... Yeah, I don't think they, they did, lied. They didn't... Well, okay, hold on. They didn't use crowdfunding at all. Period. Just Sony gave them a ton that, of money. Sony gave them a ton of money, um, and they oh, had their great. own money as well. Yeah, um, and I think Sony also pushed the uh, release date very early. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, which caused yeah. them to have to speed up the game. And, uh, yeah, I think their PR promised way too much for sure. But I think it was a situation where Sony gave them money. They pushed their um, release date a lot faster than they should have. And, uh, yeah. They definitely over oversold what they were making. Mm-hmm. Like, like you said, they eventually got there with... Yeah. You know, the new release, I, the newest release, I believe, is pretty close to what they wanted. But mm. it took them, what, seven years? How many years? Yeah, at least they got to the point where they made the game how yeah. they liked it. good on them for not, like, stopping production versus, like so many games. It's <laughs> versus Cyberpunk, which, again, did the same thing. Yeah. Uber Guitars from a quick Google. I think you're thinking of the crowd GoFundMe that thanked Hello Games for actually making a good game eventually. Ah. Um, ah. But, but yeah. Anyway, there's plenty of bad ones. I'll say that, like, yeah, I could, I could certainly name a bunch of games. I'm not going to, but I'm going. To, I, there's certainly quite a lot of developers that do a Kickstarter Whee! or other crowdfund, and just lie through their teeth to make a cool sounding project, mm-hmm. and then just take the money and run. Yeah. Uh, Release like never a very a limited list. version. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. 10k. So it's just Anna now. It's hmm. just me. Listen, I'm on too many vacations. Can't be bothered with life. Yep. Yep. Oh, the house. I just wanted a house. Risky Path has houses. I'm not going. No. It's too much. Too many taxes. Too over many there. risks. Too many risks. Oh, okay. So now you're blowing through, through retirement. Yeah. <laughs> is, this, is this tax spot? No, right before. 
Well, well. you can repay your loans. Ooh. You'll save. Can save 200k. Let's do that. You've already got the heart. And then uh, you could just crown. go all of them. Yeah, Benny did make the uh, topic Kickstarter for the entire time. I, I'm sorry that I raged about it. It's just... It's just a lot of money. I, I am the kind of person who thinks that when there's that much money going to one person, that money should actually be spread amongst a whole bunch of people. Uh, you know, he seems like a nice guy. That's a lot of money. Maybe he might start, like... If he, if he yeah, if he makes a publishing uh, yeah. company or something like that and publishes smaller things, then I will take it all back. Mm -hmm. I, well, that's I, my I, thing, because like the alternative was that he was gonna work with like Penguin Publishing, and they don't really need the money. So <laughs> they probably do. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, that's that's where all the yeah. publishers probably yeah. need the money, right? Print, now. Printed media definitely needs money. Um, <clears throat> but no, I mean, yeah. But my thing is like, I hope he reinvests that in other people, not mm -hmm. just in his self. Sure. He's gonna buy a yacht that's gonna get taken away. I'm just saying. I want a yacht. Oop, we're, we're still going. <laughs> after all the yacht TikToks Ash has shared with me, and after watching the recent um, episode of the Anna Sorkin story mm. on Netflix, yachts sound like they are not not that much fun. Also, a huge money sink. And terrible for the environment. Oh, yeah. Bad across the board. There's They're nothing good about so them. They're just so expensive. Yeah, there's nothing good about them except for people trying to flaunt their wealth. Ash really wants a yacht? No. I would be so mad. Like, the amount that it costs per week to just, like, hire the crew that is required to even operate that yacht. Yeah. It's so insane. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, if you buy a yacht, you have to teach yourself how to, you know, steer it. Pilot it. Yeah. You gotta do all I the jobs. I would... Oh, so close. So close. All right, here we go. It just sounds so expensive. Like, not to, for anyone in chat that doesn't know, like, the, the big fancy yachts that you normally see in, like, music videos and whatnot, legitimately, a million dollars a week for operating costs. Oh. Not, not joking. That's the actual, like, average for renting one of those yachts. Ridiculous. And that doesn't even cover food. Like, it's not like a full package. Hmm. That's just for, like, you yeah. get to operate, like, you get to rent it and tell it where to go. And then you still need to cover your own food. Oh, stuff. man. I <clears throat> Jazzy's running away with this one, right? She's got to Attributes. <clears throat> Yeah, Ooh, Jesse's Ash. got this, I think. I have 1776, one crown. patriotic. Ooh. Ah, oh, you got ahead of me. I'm last place. Goodness. Oh, no, Enna's. No, I am. I, <laughs> I made no money. It was close. It was close. It was the Rickonomics that got you. <clears throat> Oof. Oh, I thought you paid them all off. I thought you did. I, did I you? Thought, you well, only pay a certain amount. Yeah, it only let me pay 60k. Oh, I think in that thing, Anna, there's like an air. It's like not very intuitive. There's like a way to arrow oh. over and pick how many you want to pay oh, off. Oh, I didn't um, know. That's fine. No, yeah. I think the first time I did it, I didn't realize that either. Um, it wasn't going to make a difference in the end anyway. <laughs> oh, I got Congra a druid outfit. Good job, Jazzy. Cute. Congrats, Jazzy. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good job. <clears throat> I said good night. I was yes, like, good, good job, job Jazzy. Good job. Good nobbin. <laughs> Uh, I did not get any puzzle pieces that time around. All right. Um, all right, y'all. That's been another successful round of Game of Life 2. This really has become our new podcast series. Um, <laughs> it really is. Every time we just talk about nonsense. <laughs> it's all right. It's right. Uh, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to check out our other episodes on it as well. And let us know if you'd like to see more. With that, we're going to move on. 